A two-man U.S.-Russian crew of Soyuz spacecraft bound for the International Space Station has survived a dramatic plunge to Earth shortly after liftoff in Kazakhstan when the rocket failed in midair. U.S. astronaut Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexei Novichinin landed safely in rescue crews who raced to locate them on the Kazakh steppe, quickly linked up with them. The emergency occurred as the first and second stages of a booster rocket separated shortly after launch from Kazakhstan's Soviet-era Cosmodrome of Baikonur. Independent aviation experts have said that Russian space industry has shown the signs of deep systematic crisis. The remarks come after Soyuz rocket made an emergency landing. Thursday's accident was the first serious launch problem experienced by a managed Soyuz space mission since 1983 when a crew narrowly escaped before an explosion on the launch pad. Russian rockets have been the only means of bringing crew members to the International Space Station since the United States retired its space shuttle program in 2011. Storm Michael is now churning towards the Carolinas after slamming Florida Panhandle. Michael now weakened to a tropical storm as it dows Georgia and the Carolinas with drenching rain. The hurricane brought a destruction in Florida with homes obliterated or reduced to rubble and power lines and trees ripped up by the third most powerful storm ever to strike the U.S. mainland in Panama City. The storm killed two people. U.S. President Donald Trump has said he is not going to fire Federal Reserve Chairman Jeff Powell but is just disappointed in the Fed's policies. Trump continued a series of attacks on central bank during remarks at the White House. The U.S. President said he thinks the Fed is out of control and what it is doing is wrong. Trump's comments followed a sell-off on the Wall Street partly attributed to investors fully adjusting to the central bank's steady rate increases and an upstick in a particular in yields in long-term U.S. Treasury bonds that are important, most secure alternative to stock investments. The U.S. envoy to Turkey has visited the evangelical pastor Andrew Brunson, whose detention and trial on terrorism charges have sparked a crisis between the two countries. Brunson, who was jailed in October 2016 and has been under house arrest since, July is due to appear in court for the next hearing in his trial today. Brunson is charged with links to Kurdish militants and supporters of Fethullah Gulen, the cleric blamed by Turkey for a failed coup attempt in 2016. He has denied the accusation and Washington has demanded his immediate release. Ukraine has secured an approval to establish an independent church in the Kiev, saves is a vital step against Russia meddling in its affairs. However, the Russian clergy fiercely opposes the biggest split in Christianity for a thousand years. At a three-day synod presided by the ecumenical patriarch in Istanbul endorsed Ukraine's request for an independent church. The synod took several decisions including rehabilitation of a Ukrainian patriarch, excommunication by the Russian Orthodox Church for leading a breakaway church in the early 1990s. The death toll from multiple strong quakes and an ensuing tsunami in Indonesia's central Sulawesi province has risen to 2,073. Over 2,000 people were seriously injured. The quake and the tsunami have affected a total of 87,000 people and an equal number of them taking shelter in central Sulawesi province while the rest have engaged in an exodus to nearby provinces. Russia's non-payment of dues could exclude it from the Council of Europe in 2019. The bloc secretary general, Pope John Lagarde, has said this. The Russians suspended uh, payments to the Council of Europe in 2017 in retaliation of for being stripped of voting rights after Moscow's annexation of Ukraine's Crimea Peninsula in 2014. Moscow had also been angered by a number of rulings by the European Court of Human Rights, which ruled last year that a Russian law banning what it described as a promotion of homosexuality to minors breached European treaty rules.
UN Human Rights uh, Watchdog has called on Saudi Arabia to halt its deadly air strikes against civilian targets in Yemen and to prosecute officials responsible for child casualties due to unlawful attacks. Pressure has mounted on Saudi Arabia, including from allies, to do more to limit civilian casualties in a three and a half year long civil war that has killed more than 10,000 people and pushed Yemen to the brink of famine. At least 1,250 children have been killed and nearly the same number injured in airstrikes since March 2015. Uh, 1, Adult film actress Tommy Daniels, who has claimed she had a sexual encounter with US President Donald Trump over a decade ago, has opened an erotic fair in Berlin. Her appearance, where she cut a red ribbon flanked by scantily clad models, came just over a week after the release of her memoir, Full disclosure promoted as a no holds barred recounting of her running legal battles with Trump and her life as a stripper. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday inaugurated a centre for the fourth industrial revolution. The Prime Minister said that the launch of the centre is a fourth in the world after San Francisco, Tokyo and Beijing and opens the door to immense possibilities in the future. PM Modi maintained that this is not just an industrial transformation but also a social transformation. Defence Minister Nirmala Sitharaman, who is on a three-day visit to France, has reiterated Indian central government's claim that it had no idea about the SAW Aviation's choice of partner for offset clause. Now, Ms. Sitharaman said there are no mentions of any individual firms in an intergovernmental agreement. Indian environmentalist and academic G.D. Agarwal, who is on an indefinite fast for the last 111 days in Haridwar, passed away on Thursday. He had repeatedly urged the government to clean the river Ganga. Agarwal has died of a heart attack. He was on fast since June 22nd and was admitted to All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Rishikesh, on Wednesday. Now, Mr. Agarwal's demands included removal of encroachment along the river bank and a special law to deal with pollution and encroachment of the Ganga. An FIR has been filed against Indian actor Nana Patikar, choreographer Ganesh Acharya, director Rakesh Sarang and producer Abdul Siddiqui. Based on Tanushri Datta's charges against them relating to the incident from 2008 on Horn OK Police sets, Tanushri's lawyer said the statement of Tanushri Datta has been recorded in English so that she can understand the language.